Green IT Net is an EU-funded project for which 11 regional partners collaborated by sharing good practices and positive experiences in the use of Green IT. Green IT Net partners include the Mort Intelligence Energy Agency Miema, the Riga City Council Latvia, Green IT Amsterdam, the City of Rome, the Lund University Sweden, the Business Support Center Limited in Kranj, Slovenia, the Chamber of Commerce Barcelona, the City of Catania, Sicily, the Manchester City Council, and the Regional Development Center in Zestokova in Poland. The lead partner is Riga City Council from Latvia. So the Green IT Net project is aiming at disseminating a number of best practices in Europe. These are being collected by each of the partners. Up till now, we have collected 160 different practices which are available on the Green IT Net website. In the Maltese scenario, we have exported the Maltese practices and we have also imported a number of practices from foreign regions. We are importing the WeMove app, which is being used in Rome, which is being used by tourists in Rome, in order to find the places of interest and handle the logistics of tourists. Basically, in Malta, we're going to use this application in order to promote the places of interest in Malta, um, the industries, the restaurants, and have also the concept of augmented reality in order to show and portray the past of Malta, particularly Valletta, to the tourists. This is being done in the limit of the Valletta V18, that is, in 2018, Valletta will be the capital city of culture for Europe. So, in this way, we're going to add forces in order to promote Valletta using this application, in order to help the market of tourism in Valletta, and also, in this way, we would be creating employment within Valletta and also within the ICT sector. Uh, the Valletta 2018 Foundation focuses very strongly on building uh, a stronger infrastructure both for Valletta and for the entirety of the Maltese Islands. So I think there's a very strong potential for working with um, uh, digital technology and green technology in building this infrastructure both in terms of uh, greener and better transport links. Uh, in terms of the cultural sphere by developing digital art and digital technologies. Energy go hand in hand. Basically, energy can be controlled by artificial intelligence systems, and uh, energy can be prevented by uh, having it uh, lost, basically, uh, wasting energy by actually planning uh, your schedules. Uh, employment will be generated by uh, employing uh, developers, software developers. I think this could be applied on the tourism sector, for instance, where you have these uh, tourists that plan out their, their stay. Meta is the central driver for all the government ICT policies, programs, and initiatives. One of the services provided by Meta is to provide data center hosting for all the government ICT services. This is being provided in two geographically corporate data centers across the Maltese island. One of the cost drivers and key components of the data center is power consumption. To this effect, we do carry out 24 by 7 close monitoring of the power infrastructure to ensure optimum efficiency. Our operations are based on EU code of conduct for data center efficiency. Apart from that, we do also carry out monthly PU readings to ensure we are in line with industry's best practices. In addition to all this, Meta is targeting to invest further in renewable energy, namely in photovoltaic plants. 